gonna have to create a saddler building. And then what you do is you take the horse and you take some refined leather, depending on what level that you want it to be at, tier three, tier four, tier five, and you actually craft them into your rideable horse. Um, most prices uh, a week or so ago was uh, about twenty or thirty thousand in silver to buy a horse and an ox. They have since balanced out because a lot of people started making their own or growing their own. Um, so now you can probably get them for around six to twelve thousand, depending on what type of horse that you want. Um, but we're also three weeks into the game, um, so you can either steal one, buy one, being a founder, till you lose it, or uh, buy, uh, buy one on the auction house or raise them. So you have a couple uh, chances, different ways of getting them. Uh, it's just some take longer than others. Some definitely take longer than others. Okay, if I move this down, this down, take this over here. Move this down, move this down. I put these there. Okay. Somebody's on one of my channels, so let me see. There's that one. Oh, there's the voice over there. All right. Had a fix. I had some uh, more Twitch channels behind mine. Somebody had uh, hosted, so I was hearing some feedback. Didn't want you guys to be uh, hearing it. Uh, so let's see, what else do we have? Gilded stuff, stuff, stuff over there. Okay. Um, take the bones. Okay, we'll leave that for now. All right, run this over to the other chest. Um, but yeah, that I like I said, I personally think that they're the, the best resource that you can get out of the Founders Pack, personally. Uh, but like I said, with them fixing supposedly the legendary gear, working for your destiny points and your completion of, of your skills, uh, finally, we'll have to see how that works, uh, if it's really necessary. Uh, but you do get all that gold that you get uh, as legendary as well. I give it, they give it a cash value. Right now, uh, gold is selling on an average of 15 silver. So if you had gold and you needed silver, you go sell your gold and get silver to do what you need to in game. All right, come on, horsey. Oh, two hostiles in Rockwell. Get through the gate. We got through the gate. Oh, let's see what else we got. News yesterday from Albion. Hey, Silver. No. I know, right? Cheers. Right on. Yep, me too. Died quite a bit. 
I, I've seen enough. <laughs> uh, you know. I don't have that much gear anyway right now. That's what I'm trying to get Foxfire on to, to make my 5.2 set or somebody. So. Leather. What's he making? No. I said, oh. Oh. Four or so. Okay. Done. Bottom south corner. Oh yeah. Down, 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 down. Yeah, Smoky Point is pretty good. Yeah, a couple others. Hey, if you guys want to tick, if you guys want to gear up, I'll grab my stuff. I'm looking for my pick. I think I left it in town. Uh. Oh. me up with stuff man I don't know bro funnier things have happened Handing me all this stuff and I ain't got room for it.
Oh, let's see. I hate to ask. Sorry. Uh, I hate to ask, but how does this game compare to say RuneScape? I know it's early alpha and there's a lot to be added, but just curious. Comparison is the easiest way to get simple understanding of the game at all. Um, it's sort of based on RuneScape. Uh, it's been compared to RuneScape. It's also been compared to Ultima Online. Uh, however, I have never played RuneScape, so I could not give you specifics. Uh, Um, so I, I can't give you, um, you know, 100% honesty comparison between the two. Uh, all I know is this game is primarily PvP, player versus player. Uh, you have red zones that are 100%, 100% full PvP, full loot. Um, and, um, they have limited PvP areas, so you could, um, Uh, not be flagged aggressive you you can't really be killed uh, you can be knocked down and you would lose silver based on the uh, durability loss that that has that has been affected by you um, sorry, I'm trying to get this and go get some more stuff from this guy's leaving the the uh, Leaving the game currently, so I'm just grabbing all the stuff that he's giving away. Hang out for uh, people there. Uh, again, 100% loot, about 60% of the game. They have GVGs, Guild versus Guild. It can be a five versus five man team for territory. It can be a 20 uh, versus 20 for a territory. Uh, open world PvP can have a couple hundred people. Uh, the mobs aren't as abundant as it. More in depth, yeah. The clan aspect, the guild aspect, yeah. Hopefully they'll, they'll tweak it some more. Hope, hopefully they can uh, tweak it some more. Um. Um, but right now it's pretty good. You know, it's decent. They need to put a friends list in. Let's see what else he gives me. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. Actually, Nestros is here giving me all his loot from his chest. So I'm getting all this T5 stuff, rare woods, plate, armors, healing staffs. Yeah, he's quitting the, the beta for now. I mean the alpha for now. He'll be back in beta, but he's going to go somewhere else. Another guild or something. Somebody that's more hardcore PvP. Uh, risk of buster are harder and the quests are harder than Albion. Yeah, but hopefully they're, uh, um, uh, yeah, it could be, it could change in time and, you know, again, things are underdeveloped, things are being, you know, processed, um, you know, they have dungeons now that have multi-level dungeons in them, um, you know, so that's uh, fairly new. Oop. Um. No, no, no. Oop. Don't run away. I'm trying to put this stuff away, Nass, and, you, and you're running away. Uh, where are these boards? Where are these boards? I, I know I got some more boards. They're there. There's door. T3. Uh, 